Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the intuitive 3D tools for the TriSpector 1000. In our previous video, you learned how to acquire a high quality 3D image. In this video, we will show you how to set up the tools that are needed to solve your application, based on this example of a chocolate box. Once you have acquired your 3D image, click on Save Job Image. You are automatically directed to the job view where you can apply the various tools. The job image is the reference image where the tools are applied and the tool configuration is done. Each tool has a settings section for tool parameter adjustments and a result section for tool output, processing time and tool pass or fail criteria. If you have multiple tools in your task list, you can also hide a tool by clicking on the eye icon next to it. The area tool measures the surface area by counting the points within a defined height or intensity interval. Use the height range slider and click and drag the handles to adjust the 3D region in the view of the image. This is important to only include relevant data and to reduce the processing time. As an option to the height information, you can also use the intensity data. Simply enable use intensity and set the desired range with a slider. This is for example useful for label detection. You can delete tools by right-clicking and selecting Delete Tool or selecting the tool and pressing Delete. The Find Plane tool automatically adjusts to a flat surface in the field of view. First, the region needs to be adjusted. The Region Shape setting allows you to switch between rectangular and elliptic regions. Show Used Points helps you to see which data is used to fit the plane. The percentile selects which height data is included when computing the plane. If, for instance, thresholds are set to 60 and 100, only the points with the 40% highest height values are included. If the fitted plane needs to be adjusted vertically, you can do so by setting the offset value. The output of the Find Plane tool is the tilt angle of the plane. The Fixed Plane tool creates a reference plane that you set manually. This is useful for example for high-speed applications when working with a narrow field of view or when the surface is hidden for some reason. Adjust the X, Y and Z coordinates with the sliders or by entering specific values. Additionally, you can tilt the plane with the angle settings. The blob locator locates point clusters with a defined size in a specified 3D region. To start off, adjust the position and the size of the region. The blob area thresholds defines the size range of the freeform objects you want to locate. Each blob that is found is marked in the 3D view with a red plus in its center point. In the table below the settings you will see the center point coordinates, the blob areas and additional outputs. To measure the volume of each blob you can select a reference plane. The volume is measured from the blob surface down to the selected plane. It's also possible to measure the blob volume from the blob surface down to the bottom of the blob tool region. If the position or rotation of your object varies, you can use the shape locator. This tool locates a taut in 3D shape in the image and repositions other tools accordingly. Therefore, it can only be used once per job. The shape locator can also be used to verify that your object is present in the image. Adjust the height range settings and use masks to only include the relevant object edges. Masks allow you to exclude unwanted areas inside the tool region. Use the edge threshold to define the height of the edges used by the shape locator. To increase the accuracy of the shape localization, adjust the robustness threshold. In addition to a varying position, the shape locator can also handle a rotation of your object of up to plus minus 20 degrees. If you are adding additional tools after the shape locator, those will be linked to the shape locator and the regions will be repositioned according to the found shape. 
The order of the tools can also be rearranged afterwards. With its powerful and easy to use tools, the TriSpector 1000 makes 3D inspection intuitive. Thank you for watching this tutorial.